hi everyone okay so in this video we look at another olympiad math problem all right this one says that uh, upon solving the systems of equations given here here are the systems we are given x we are given x is the power of 5 uh, multiplied by y to the power of 17 is equal to r and then this other one and we are asked to find the value of x and y now assuming that after solving that this was what x was gotten sorry we are not asked to find x and y we are told that the systems that was, these two systems were solved and um, the person was looking for x and y and in the end the person got um, x to be of this form and y to be of this form so and they are saying if this is true then we should find the value of a plus b plus c plus d where our a b c and d are the parts of the values r s and um, you know as given in the equation so let's try to solve it so what are they expecting us to do here now first of all we have two systems or two equations the first one is x to the power of 5 multiplied by y to the power of 17 to be equal to r we can call this equation 1 and the second one is x to the power of 2 multiplied by y to the power of 7 to be equal to s and this is the second equation and so uh, what are we going to do now? The two solutions they got, that's the X and Y, you know, are in terms of S and R. Okay, so in other words, if it is possible to get the value of X here and write it in terms of S and R, then whatever is the power would definitely be uh, equivalent to our A and B. That means we need to get X to be in terms of r over s so whatever will be the power of uh, r will be your a and whatever is the power of s will be your b while we will get y to be in terms of s over r and whatever is the power of x s in that in that case will be our c and the power of r will be our d okay so now to be able to do that what are we going to do? So we will try, because this is multiplication, we will try to see if we can make one of the powers, uh, one of the variables to have the same powers, and then we'll now divide. Okay, we can do that for x or for y. Maybe we should do that for x. So in other words, I want to raise uh, the power of uh, x to be this, that's in equation 1, to be the same as that of equation 2. And that's very simple. Just raise equation 1 to the power of 2 and raise equation 2 to the power of 5. Okay, so if I do that, I am going to now have, if I raise everything in this equation 1 to the power of 2, I will have x to the power of 10 and y to the power of 34 to be equal to s to the power of 2 and then i can call this equation 3 and then uh, what it means is and if i now raise the equation 2 to the power of 5 i will get s to the power of 10 y to the power of 35 and that is equal to s to the power of 5 remember that the power is going to multiply the already existing powers okay so at this time this can be called equation 4 Okay, so as it is now, I can actually now divide equation 3 by equation 4, anyone, or equation 4 by equation 3. Okay, maybe we should do it that way. Let's do equation 4 by equation 3. Okay, so from here now, it then means that, uh, of course, you see this will take away this. So y to the power of 34 will cancel part of 35 and it will remain only 1. So we'll have y alone is equal to s to the power of 5 all over r to the power of 2. So we can call this one star. So we've gotten our y now. So all we need to do now is to get our x. And to be able to get our x, we can substitute y into equation 2. So if we substitute into equation 2, 
Remember that our equation 2 is x squared y to the power of 7 equal to s. That's this one here. Okay, so now we are substituting y. So what it means then is that our x squared, our y a noun is uh, s is to the power of 5. So if we open this bracket, we will now get Okay, so at this point, we'll try to now make x to, the sub, to be the subject by cross-multiplying, and that's going to give us x squared alone is equal to, okay, so this will reduce this to 34, and so we'll have r to the power of 14 all over s to the power of 34. So meaning now that our x alone will be equal to of course, the square root of r to the power of 14 all over s to the power of 34. So remember that square root is the same thing as power half. So it's going to reduce the powers here by half. So this will now be r to the power 7 and s to the power of 17. And that is our x. So from what we did here originally for our y, you can easily now note here that uh, remember from the question, the um, powers of your, you can see here that your, um, your y is equal to s raised to power c over r to the power d. And here we got that y is equal to s to the power 5. So that means c is 5 and d is 2. While up here for x, they said x is equal to r to power a and s to the power of b. So that means it, uh, it implies here that our, our c is equal to 7 and our d is equal to 17. Okay, so the implication then is that our a plus b plus c plus d will simply be equal to the sum of all that we have gotten. Okay, so if we sum all that we have gotten here, sorry, this, this is rather our C and D, okay, so sorry, this is our A and B, sorry, that's the powers of X. Okay, so if we sum them, we have A is 7, B is 17, and C is 5, while D is 2. So we have 5 plus 2, and if you sum the whole of this, you will get 31. And that's the solution to this problem. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do give a thumbs up to this video. Share our videos to your friends and colleagues. We will see you in our next video. Bye.